percent. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Mildew, and this is uh, the Cat in the Hat. Uh, just to explain some stuff uh, before I start, um, because I probably won't be able to, uh, this is a children's adventure game. Um, sorry to those who were hoping it was the 3D platformer. I'm very sorry to disappoint you. Um, so, because it's a children's adventure game, and children ha have, you know, small brains, they... Um, give you a special sound whenever you pick up a essential item, and it goes "baba." So whenever, whenever you hear that, I want everybody out there to yell "baba." All right. <clears throat> oh, you, you at home could also participate in chat. Yeah, we'll yep. hear you. Yeah. Yep, yep, we will. Uh, all right, and with that, I'm gonna start in three, two, one, go. All right, so uh, right off the bat here, I'm going to grab uh, some keys that are going to stay in my inventory for the entire game and go into this door, and we're going to open up this toy chest and get our first item. So, bye bye. Bye bye. So, um, yeah, then we're going to get this rake that's behind the window over here. That's another item. Bye bye. And uh, now we're going to do the one and only trick in the game where I press X and triangle at the same time, and we're going to warp to the other side of the room to be able to grab this fan and move on. Ba -ba. Ba -ba. Um, yeah, so because we did that door glitch, we're actually going to wrong warp to the middle of the room where we can give Sally her doll that she misplaced in the one place it would not be, in the toy box. Uh, so now we're gonna do a little bend and snap here to pick up this uh -huh. ball. <laughs> and uh, we're not gonna talk to the boy over there. I forget his name. I'm too lazy to Google it. Um, and we're gonna do <laughs> the door glitch again. <laughs> and grab these books that uh -huh. are on the uh, the bookshelf over there. Oh, I missed the uh, the little. It's a little uh, finicky where you're actually able to pick up items and not. Um, yeah, so now we're gonna leave this room and we're gonna go back and do the door glitch again. And this one, as soon as I can get it. All right. There we go. We're gonna go right in front of the fridge where we take the milk bottle that we need for later, put the candles on the cake, Bye -bye. pick up the cake, the cake. We're gonna drain the sink, pick up the bowl in the sink. And then we're gonna take the glass of milk that we just grabbed out of the fridge, fill up this cup and grab it. Bye bye. <laughs> we're gonna use the steps to grab this last item out bye -bye. of the uh, cupboard. So that's the first level done. Uh, this game is three levels and three mini games. This is the first one up, I up, up with a fish. Intensity. Yes, absolutely. Um, so it's basically RNG uh, how fast these items will fall. Uh, so far, we're not getting that great RNG, so we might be here for a while. But um, hopefully things speed up. Oh, there's that. That one's speeding up. And then we got that one. So if you miss something here... Just... Oh, if I miss... I, I don't know, because I've never missed, so... Okay. <laughs> that, that's I'm fair. too much of a god gamer, you know? All right, so that was actually pretty bad RNG, but, you know, it's a marathon. That happens. Uh, and we are on to level two. Now, level two is a level I have to be careful on uh, with this first uh, door warp uh, especially, because if I do it wrong, I'll actually get stuck in that stool. And uh, right now it's fine, because if it happened, I would just say, oh, you know, you guys didn't see that. Uh, <laughs> and restart the level, but I have to do it again at the end, uh, and that'll be some time loss. So uh -huh. right here, I'm gonna do a uh, pixel perfect uh, placement of myself here so that I can pick up these suspenders. Uh, and that's actually harder than it looks, because again, there's no real like depth perception, so you can't really tell like where you can actually stand and where you can't. So now we're going into the bathroom to grab, you know, the one thing that everybody keeps in the bathroom, the paper towels. And we're gonna use the hair dryer to dry off the uh, brushes that I picked up in the first room. And we're gonna leave. The music and... just went hard in the bathroom, by the way. Oh yeah, uh, that's, that's uh, one thing about this game. 
the music is, for some reason, uh, influenced by the disc speed. Oh, also, I'm going to dispose of the paper towels the only way I know how. <laughs> in the fan. <laughs> yeah, so the, uh, the music, for some reason, is uh, influenced by the disc speed. And I'm using the uh, fast disc speed uh, option on the PS2. So, oh, oh that. No. Oh, oh Wait. is this is this a? Yeah. Um, oh. All right. So we're just gonna <laughs> pretend that it didn't happen. So say the line. Uh, that's never happened before. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> all right. So uh, unfortunately, I do have to restart that level. That's very unfortunate. I. I mean, that means we get more babas. Yeah, we do get more babas. You're right. Yeah, so as I was saying before I got, uh, I messed up there. <laughs> Stuck in the train. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, the music is tied to fast disk speed. So you will hear what would be a um, probably minute and a half to two minute loop uh, done in 15 seconds because, you know, we like to go fast. All right, I did that uh, pixel perfect uh, <laughs> positioning again. <laughs> I, just, I love how it zooms through the music and it's completely silent. You just hear absolutely nothing. Yep, that's my favorite part. Uh, we want to get like a donation or two while I uh, get back to where I was. That'd be great. Absolutely. Patrick and Ada donated $50 and says, my daughter woke up and demanded that I donate for the cat in the hat. She <laughs> says, go cat Bye -bye. in the hat. Yay. All right, uh, we're going to do the door glitch again. Dispose of the paper towels and the fan. Ba -ba. Ba -ba. And we are almost back to where I was before. Audience participation's been great so far. <laughs> you're, you're doing great. We're very proud of you. There we go. Hey, no trade. Right, so we give the, the boy the uh, suspenders, and he's just straight yanking it over there. <laughs> All right, so uh, after putting the brushes into the pencil sharpener, do not try that at home, uh, we are going to finish off the level by doing the door glitch again. If they didn't okay pass it, there, there we go. You okay there, Taylor? <laughs> so, so we give the girl the hair tie and finish off the level by uh, cleaning up the curtain on the floor. Um, oh, so, uh, this adorable kids game. <laughs> yeah. So now this is the things, you know, they're, they uh, are counterintuitive and like to run at us. All right, he's being a little bye -bye. finicky, but there we go. They're caught. Yeah. All right, and now is uh, level three, which was probably the hardest for me to route in the game, uh, mostly because, you know, um, the previous levels and stuff, we've only gone into the rooms maybe like once or twice. This, we got to backtrack a little bit. So we grab the rusty saw <laughs> and we use the whetstone to, uh, you know, clean the rust off of it. And then we go into here, we're going to grab these dirty gloves out of the sandbox. And then we got three quick ba buzz. So ba -ba. there's the first one. We're going to use the saw on that. Ba -ba. That's the second one. And then we're going to take the steering wheel off of this. And that's the third <laughs> one. Wait, did you just like saw a shovel in half? Uh, yeah. Okay. Sure. So we needed the, uh, the stick from that shovel because I'm going to go into this room, do the warp, and... Uh, grab all of the tools that I need, and we're gonna give the boy the uh, the stick that we sawed off the okay. thing, and just look at him go. Best two frames of animation in a game ever. Yeehaw! Yeehaw. All right, so now that we've, uh, we've done that and witnessed, you know, what is the greatest uh, thing to ever been on a GDQ stage, I'm gonna grab this flashlight for later use, and then because all cats are canonically mechanics, we're just going to take the wheels off of this car. Why is the little girl playing with gasoline? Uh, she's not playing with gasoline. She's playing with the, the, the wheel of the, uh, the bike that oh. I just gave her the uh, screwdriver for. Sorry, that makes way more sense. So this is my favorite warp. So we're going to go into this room and back out, and we're going to clean off those br uh, gloves, do a little moonwalk there. We're going to unlock the door, and then we're going to use the flashlight to find the light switch so that I can turn the lights on, turn off the water, 
and then grab this pipe. Bye bye. All right, and once we get out of this room, I'm gonna clean, dry off these gloves, and that's that level. All right. So this is the last mini game. Uh, it's basically two minutes of auto scroller where I have to pick up everything by using the face buttons. So donations, yay! <laughs> Donations indeed. $50 from Bronze Brow, and they say, when the runner entered to cat room, my cat name came in and meowed at me. I think she was telling me to donate. We also had $50 from Zero SP and says, Chef, I would like to hear the pirate song, please, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Again, we are quite literally halfway there to that pirate song. We're at $2,400 of 5,000. So if you want to hear that pirate song again, scroll to the bottom of the donation screen and put your, your donation toward that incentive. Pirate song, it's super worth it. I it highly, is amazing. Yeah, I, I really love it. We also have $10 from MZ that says, massive shout out from Chat Chefs to whomever on the staff made us a chef emote. Yes, chef. And <laughs> I think the best way to show your support would be to maybe put those in the chat. <laughs> yes, Chef. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Yes, Chef. Thank you, Chef. That's right. Nothing but high skill, high intensity gameplay here on GDQ. Never said we'd bring you anything less. If you uh, have any more, uh, please feel free while I pick up... Well, never mind. Uh, time! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, that was Cat in the Hat. Uh, thank you, GDQ, for letting me run this. Uh, Shout-outs to uh, Adeline, who found the, uh, the door glitch. Uh, one day, I decided to, you know, log into speedrun.com for the third time in the year. Uh, and <laughs> figured out that uh, she had beaten my time, and I wondered how, and she had found that glitch, and that's basically what made this run possible. Uh, shout outs to everybody back home that's watching, uh, and uh, yeah, shout outs to Taylor and Chuck, who are my couch, and that's it for me. So, yeah, thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. -bye. <laughs>
As a reminder, this is Summer Games Done Quick 2023, powered by Twitch. As for those wonderful donations that have been coming in, did you know that you may be able to actually double your donation with Doctors Without Borders? Uh, many employers will actually match your donations made to nonprofits, including the donations you make during SGGQ. Use our search tool to find out if your employer has a matching gift program and to submit a match request to your employer. Companies often match donations of a spouse, too. So don't forget to check if your spouse's employer will match your donations. And the big thing is, when you donate to MSF, you know that MSF can help save lives. For more than 50 years, their medical teams have been reaching those caught in crisis, from armed conflict to devastating earthquakes, with rapid response care. Donors make it possible for them to provide medical treatment to more than 12.5 million people. And DFS couldn't agree more with $10 and says, more GDQ, more fun, and more MSF donations. Thank you so much, DFS. We are still getting some fantastic Zelda taxes coming in. For instance, Pixel Nair donated $5 with the comment, taking a break from Tears of the Kingdom to play the new System Shock remake, but here's a Zelda tax rebate in case someone else needs it and cannot make a donation right now. We just had some love come in from our previous game from Akira Katayama, who donated $25 and says, it may no longer be an awful games done quick, but the silly block is still the necessary amount of video weirdness required for a proper GDQ. Let's hear it for the strange. Bye bye. I love the audience participation here. All of you are fantastic. Speaking of fantastic, Jerky donated twenty dollars and says, "I love silly block. I need that pirate song." Here's $20 to find out what rhymes with orange. Also, letting my wife know I love her very much. Oh, also, letting my, but letting my wife know I love her very much for letting me watch Silly Games on the TV. Whew, thank you so much, Jerky. $5 from Never Knows Best, who says, a donator I was meant to be, see the runs and roam the chat. On the other hand, we have $25 from Alien Crustacean, I really like that name, with the comment, silly block time is best block time. As a reminder, we are in the middle of Silly Block at Summer Games Done Quick 2023. Up next is our Wayne's World Any Percent run by Ritz Blues. Following that is Ice Plugs, the Incredible Hulk Any Percent. And then EOD Text is going to be doing the Any Percent Uzume run of Pocky and Rocky Reshrined. So definitely stick around and check those out.
We have a $10 donation from Keep Ray Alive with the comment, thanks runners and production, announcers, presenters, prize donators, and everyone behind the scenes for coming over together for a great cause and putting on a wonderful show. Let's give a quick round of applause for everyone that you, you see behind the scenes. Thank you so much, Keep Ray Alive. We also had a $100 donation from Ali Scene, who says, got off early from work today so I can run, so I can run, enjoy some GDQ while having lunch. Good luck to all the runners. Thanks for all the work behind the scenes. And well, you know, greetings from Germany. Donation goes to the Titanfall 2 bonus game. Thank you so much, everyone. While we're still working, getting together, getting all set for that Wayne's World run, I hope everybody is staying hydrated. Yes, that means you, chat. Make sure you stand up, stretch, relax a little bit. I see we have somebody stretching in, in the crowd out there. Uh, but in the meantime, I do want to remind you, we do have that pirate song that we're going to looking to get unlocked. And Anonymous would like to see it unlocked with a $5 donation that says, what rhymes with orange? No, it doesn't. We also have uh, the Nerd Wonder donating $200 and saying, we need Scrooge McDuck singing about why he's a pirate. Let's get that pirate song incentive met. I have just been told, everybody, it is time. So, you are watching Cable 10 Aurora, Illinois Community Access Channel. But what I mean by that is saying, it is time for Ritz Blues with Wayne's World Any Percent. Take it away. Woo! 